you fucking kidding me? This couldn't have come at a better time for this video. Are you serious? And we're in my car and I don't know why but I just had the strongest urge to like fight back saying I'm in my car. I'm driving in my car. You know I'm in my car. If anyone knows what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, today we're not going to the Goodwill outlets. We're going to the Goodwill in Folsom which if you guys are an OG you will know that that used to be like my favorite thrift store ever. And the reason why I'm going to this thrift store is because I'm going to do what I did with my spring trends where I'm going to try to thrift for my early 2000s lookbook. So it's going to be like the three-part series where if you guys actually haven't checked out my early 2000s trends video, go ahead and check that out. And then this video will be me trying to thrift the trends and then the next one will be the lookbook. But yeah, we're just here. I'm excited because I haven't actually like thrift shopped for myself for a while and I do have a lot of early 2000s things. I just kind of want to like see what we have here and I'll put up all the trends up right here somewhere on the screen so you guys know exactly what I'm looking for. But I don't know, I might not get all of them so we will see. And yeah, if you like my style or anything like that, you can go ahead and follow me on Depop because I am a reseller and that's going to be at Viola Demion. And then if you just want to troll the internet with me, uh, my Instagram is going to be at 1-800-BUY. And yeah, let's just get right on into the video. I usually don't even thrift movies, but this movie right here I've been wanting to watch for so long and so I'm gonna pick it up and then um, of course this is literally like the best movie in the world. I don't care if it's on Netflix, I feel like I need to have the physical copy and yeah, I just felt like it was really appropriate because you know, early 2000s. Alright, I need to cool it because look at all these that I just found. This is seriously my childhood. I mean, Jessica Simpson was queen and I need this in my life and look, it's only $2. I wish I had a kid or something because look at this. I don't even know exactly what this is because it's like hard at the bottom. This could be a chair, but oh, wow. Obviously, there are certain trends that um, I can't really thrift, like monochromatic and like different hairstyles. So just so you guys know, I'm not going to really be going down the list. I'm just kind of looking. And of course, we're going to start in the little girl section because that is like the early 2000s of the early 2000s where I feel like you'll find the majority of the things. The cutest little tank top, like this is definitely like full size, but again, I found it in the little girl section. And then I also found the cutest little Barbie shirt, which crosses off the sayings. Like, isn't this so freaking cute? This velour freaking zip up, look at this. And it has the sparkles, this is total Paris Hilton vibes. This is exactly why I tell you guys to look in the little girl section because I just found a Juicy Couture zip up and I literally have found so many in the little girl section before because people will hide them here. Like, look at this. Oh my god. The most perfect denim jacket. Look at this. It's a little bit cropped, but it's American Eagle and it's one of the cutest that I've ever seen at the thrift store. There's also just so many cute tank tops in this section. Like, look, let's see. Let me see if I can find it because I kind of messed it up and lost them. Yeah, they're right here. Like, look at this. This freaking just regular blue one with the sparkles around it. And then there's also this one with the lace. Would be really cute cropped. And you can, like, make it into that hoe top that I was talking about if you saw the trends video. There is no one like me. This is exactly what I was talking about in the video. And it is giving me major Lisa Frank vibes. And this is just freaking adorable. Are you kidding me with this sweater? Also, the little girl section is where you will find the most tackiest bottoms. Like, look at this. This kind of reminds me of Victoria's Secret almost. And then, I mean, this is not early 2000s again, but some really cool, like, bright pink neon track pants. I think these are adorable. I like how a couple videos ago I complained about never finding a denim jacket and now I keep seeing them everywhere. Look at this Levi's one. It's like the perfect dark wash and it has the off stitching. This pink denim jacket again. Oh my gosh, everything is killing it. Imagine this would probably be the best for the monochromatic look. I always see an insane amount of like velour black track pants. Like there's some right there. Pretty sure I just saw some. Yeah, like look, there's some right here. I mean, these are navy, but then there's two black ones right here. I mean, they're everywhere all the time. Again, how I said in my previous thrift hauls, you don't have to have them juicy. If you just get like one juicy sweatsuit that says juicy on it, like the bottoms don't have to say anything. It could be one or the other. 
like either the pants say juicy or the top. I know a lot of people are turned off by the lingerie section, but honestly, there is some good stuff. Like, look at this. You could easily take this and crop it and make it into a shirt and do the whole DIY, and that will be your hoe top. And then also, can we just take a look at this? If I had boobs, I don't care if this was lingerie. I would so buy this. Look at this. Look at the bottom. And then also, there's this really cute cheetah one right here as well. There's just so many cute lingerie pieces. And on this one right here could even pass as a top. I feel like this is really Desperate Housewives if it didn't have the yellow at the bottom. This could even pass as a dress. Something I didn't mention in the trends video is there were a lot of also lingerie type silky dresses. And this is actually not that bad. I would honestly wear this out as a dress. You could also take this one and crop it as well. And then there's also this shirt. This one is a little bit more passable as like a silky top because it doesn't really have the lace. So I feel like you wouldn't really be able to tell that this was lingerie. Okay, I'm spending way too much time in the lingerie section, but this top would be perfect for the tacky monochromatic section with like a denim jacket over it and then some like weird ugly blue pants. Again, like the tacky monochromatic was stuff that just didn't make sense. It wasn't cute monochromatic. It was just random prints like this. And then here we have that famous Avril Lavigne belt that is just, I see everywhere at the thrift store. And then we even have these cute little like belt chain, but I feel like this is more 70s but I still thought it was cute you know as a body chain draped over it's really boho chic I know I didn't really cover shoes in my video but some of my most favorite early 2000s shoes have actually come from the thrift store so I'm gonna see if I could find any and just show it to you guys I don't think I'm gonna pick any up just because I do have so many and yeah let's just see what they have I don't really like the color of this cheetah but I just wanted to show you guys these totally not early 2000s but these were adorable I am like obsessed with them but they're just a little bit too orange I mean if you wanted to be really tacky on the red carpet with the monochromatic look at these and it even has the perfect small heel for it too honestly i'm having like no luck with shoes i can tell you that someone came and wiped all of them out because a lot of the spaces are missing and it's never like that here but i did find these cute shoes and it's that print again and it's the classic pointy kitten heel with the really low back again these were really popular with flare jeans the cutest smallest handbag where as you guys know it's just total sex in the city vibes and it's just really convenient because the shoes are here and then the purses are here and again i didn't really cover purses in my video either but i mean it's obvious it's like the small little cute handbags that were popular back then like look at this i am obsessed with this print at the moment i feel I feel like this is the perfect length because it would sit right underneath the armpit. I've been doing this thing where I've been looking in like the book section lately because I read like every single day as part of my morning routine and I used to always go to Barnes and Noble and spend like 20 freaking dollars on books but lately I've realized that almost every single book that I want to read, which is all non-fiction by the way, is here at the thrift store and then I find these. I actually haven't wanted to read this in a while. I don't even know if this is non-fiction. No, this is definitely fiction. I don't know. It just it throws me off because of the movie. But um, yeah, I saw this and I think I want to read it. I just don't know which one to get because I don't know which cover. I have absolutely no purpose for this, but I feel like I need this. Look at how this is honestly perfect. It's total clueless. Look how empty that is. It honestly doesn't even look like it's been used. We have the amazing tacky accessories. That is definitely missing a bunch of rhinestones. I don't even really know if this is early 2000s but can we talk about this adidas thing like i've never seen something like this and then the back of it says brazil and then it's like a velvet this is so cute i'm like really in love with the little tie right here this print is definitely more 90s but it again is kind of like the whole princess top that i was talking about in the video and i'm really digging this it just reminds me of sex in the city and it's the perfect amount of tacky with the jewels on it this shirt just reminds me of something that would be on Zoe 101. I don't know why, but I feel like they would wear this and then tie it in the front. It's just such obnoxious colors. It also reminds me of the Color Club in Spongebob. At this point, all the shirts I'm going to show you are the princess tops or hoe tops, so I'm just going to stop saying it because obviously this video is early 2000s based. I'm really in love with how the shirt is like panned out, but I hate the color that they chose. It's like a weird, ugly pink, but this is such a cute like concept of a shirt, just not the color. 
This is the cutest top ever. This is exactly what I was talking about, except this is 100% like an extra large and not even like an extra large, like an XXL because this will definitely not fit me at all as you can tell by like the boob-ish area. Okay, but wow, this collar, this is so adorable, except it's definitely would not fit as a dress and it's too big to fit as a shirt, but isn't this so cute? With the collar side note you guys know i love hard rock cafe putting up on my depop and all of that and this is freaking adorable because it looks like hogwarts this really cute collared tommy shirt i'm usually not into just like the whole collared and just really small tommy logo but it fits really oversized and kind of has like the pj feel and i don't know i kind of like it i'm watching sex in the city right now and carrie and all of them always lounge around in tops like these when they're like hanging out at the apartment here we go with another peasant top it's the perfect print just the right amount of tacky i refuse to pick up another cheetah top but look at this one it has the lettuce bottom which is the ultimate early 2000s like late 90s i'm almost positive this is dress but it has like that tacky ed hardy i mean it's not ed hardy but you guys know what i mean and then we have just the actual og ed hardy i don't know what this is supposed to be i don't know if it's supposed to be a dress because it definitely says one size on this and then this is the back of it this is so adorable and then you go to the bottom and it has this why i mean i could definitely cut that off but this is so freaking cute this is just a little bit too big because of course everything was way too tight in the early 2000s but this reminds me of lizzie mcguire like it would be some like she would wear that this is silky top so this is kind of like the laundry but then it has the tacky little jewels on it I don't think you could get any more early 2000s than this top. Like, this isn't like some weird desperate housewives type of thing. I don't know what is. I mean, it has even like this ribbon to tie in the back with the jewels to tie in the front as the halter. A brand I never mentioned was South Pole, and I honestly just don't think that this could get any more tacky. This is exactly what I was looking for, and it even has the flare at the bottom, and then the back pocket of it just has South Pole down it. And we've got the perfect flare tacky miss me's. I definitely am not gonna get these. I'm almost positive I had like capris that had this exact same print. I used to own so many miss me's when I was little, which is like why would I need miss me's when I was little? I know I didn't talk about skirts that much, but this is the perfect like skirt. They um I don't even know what it's called like at the bottom when it would ruffle like that, but it would be all different lengths. Like that was really popular in the early 2000s. I mean look, they have like this skirt. We've got the ultimate little mini skirt right here and then there's like another one that's a little bit more longer and then it has the zipper. I'm not even gonna lie, I got really lazy and just didn't want to look through any of the jeans or any of the skirts or anything like that because it was just too overwhelming. This is why I don't, like back in the day, you didn't see me thrift a lot of jeans versus now like at the outlets I thrift a lot because it's just, I can't go through that rack right now. I feel like I've been looking through racks for so long and I, I got a good amount of stuff so I just kind of said screw it because I have a lot a lot of the pants that I'm gonna wear for the lookbook, but I just wanted to show you guys my outfit really quick. So this is actually a top. As you can tell, it's very like late 90s, early 2000s, but I thought it was appropriate for this video. It has kind of like that scoop neck and then the 90s like little straps, and then it has like tacky, you can't really see, but on um wow that creaking of the door is so annoying but it has like little sequins and then i just paired it with a denim skirt i mean it's not mini but i don't know i thought it was cute and then i did just a little choker so it's not really early 2000s but i thought i would show you guys anyways and then this skirt is from urban and again this top is thrifted and then these derby ass fuzzy slippers are from urban as well and now we're just gonna look through all of these i already have a pink halter top but i I am like in love with this one like it cinches right here and then it's actually super long so I might crop it to make it more ho but it's really freaking cute like look at this with this outfit honestly and then a cute little bell first off everything is just gonna bunch up like this unless I tuck it in so I'm sorry about that but okay I thought I was gonna hate this shirt and I just wanted to show you guys just for the purpose of the video but I'm actually really in love with it it's super soft and just imagine this again with denim like flared jeans and some cute little little kitten heels and then a matching small bag like that is straight early 2000s and this is so freaking cute i'm just more obsessed with how soft this is and i don't know i like really like the fit of it even 
here is that black lingerie top honestly fits pretty well kind of i mean it's a little bit baggy right here because this is definitely meant for people with like bigger boobs or something but i really like this this whole outfit is actually really cute okay not the shoes but kind of just like this with the choker it kind of reminds me of like sabrina the teenage witch i don't know why but look at this it's so cute i like how the choker matches the little tee and this was in the lingerie section and typically like i know last year we sold this these type of shirts at urban and they were like 30 dollars but here it's um four dollars which is not that bad i found the same exact one but it's in um like a cream color as you guys saw and it's surprisingly like not see-through which is really weird like this i feel like i could just go out in i mean um i do have my nipples pierced so i feel like you could kind of see so i might have to do something about that situation but this is like perfect it fits me way better than the black one and now i have a black and white one and all i looked for was in the lingerie section so again don't be afraid to go in that section because you can find cute little early 2000s lingerie tops this is definitely more of a 90s top but oh it is like amazing as you can tell i'm really into these shirts like this one that i was just wearing is like similar to this one i just really love shirts like that that are really tight but not really cropped and then have some type of design i think it's so freaking cute especially with the mini skirt i just had to try on this shirt for you guys i'm not gonna get it because it's just like what would i wear it to but oh my god this is like the ultimate paris hilton vibes and it even has like the little metal thing and the sequins and this is just perfect i almost kind of want to get it because it fits me so well but um yeah i'm gonna pass but i just like look at this this is freaking amazing this shirt was just made for desperate housewives like this entire thing is actually giving me the feels like i actually kind of like it. this is that weird except like i don't like how the sleeves are really poofy but it's honestly cute like with really really dark flare jeans i mean anything paired like this with flare jeans would be so cute and then kitten heels at this point everything would be cute with um flare jeans and kitten heels but i don't know i'm like digging this it's definitely like red carpet vibes where they would have it super long and then like barely have their skirt show i'm so sad because this shirt had so much potential with the colors but it's way too big right here like do you see this and i can't adjust them and it is just the perfect freaking top i'm like it's like a really pretty rose gold so this is that lingerie dress that i found in the entree section and it's lightweight really cute i can't tell if it looks like lingerie but i mean like last year it was popular to wear like the lingerie as dresses like look at this oh my god i am obsessed with this i might even cut it into a shirt is this not so cute i did not think it was gonna fit like this so this is definitely an odd dress because i have to wear the skirt with it but um yeah this is definitely early 2000s just with a trucker hat and maybe some like extremely low short shorts to wear you can't even tell that i'm wearing shorts because this would be covering it i don't know i kind of like this is that bad and then here is that gap um denim jacket i don't know if i showed you guys this i don't remember but it fits so well i have been looking for an oversized denim jacket for a really long time like that's the one thing that i've never been able to thrift and here i am finally found it and it's only eight dollars here is the fit of that juicy couture jacket which by the way i don't know if i mentioned it but it has like the old english which is my favorite font and then the back i mean i really don't think i need another juicy sweatsuit because this one is ten dollars and i already have a black one but this one is really cute so um i don't know what to do i kind of want to get it but then i could also put it up on my depot for you guys as well but it's just so cute that um my juicy tracksuit collection is getting a little bit out of hand but i don't care because in the fall i'm about to be the cutest fake milf in the world and just like that we're back in my car and i'm just gonna show you guys everything that i got honestly all i got were like the little ho tops i didn't really thrift any other trends in there because i kind of already have it all at home and yeah i mean um 
you just saw these like five seconds ago but I figured I'd show you guys anyway I got that black lingerie top and then I also got the matching white one I mean it's not white it's kind of like a cream color I am seriously obsessed with these because of how good they fit and trend or not I've been wanting like lingerie tops for a while now because I can never seem to find like really good ones and then I did get that lingerie dress as well like just the freaking neckline I am obsessed with this over a really cool Cool, like graphic tee or even think of like a Harley tee with a denim jacket and some snakeskin booties in the fall Ooh, that would be so cute and then I did get the pink halter top as well just because I just love the fit of it even though I have a pink halter top but whatever the more the merrier and then I did get the denim jacket as well I honestly probably the best find today was this denim jacket because it fits me so freaking well and then the last top that I got was the little um top that kind of looks like this already i am like in love with any tops like these i want them in like every single print i think they are like the cutest and yeah that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching definitely be on the lookout for the lookbook portion of this and again if you haven't checked out the trends video go ahead and check that out i go really into depth of each trend and i show you guys how it looks like and yeah that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe do all that and i'll see you guys in my next video bye